peace, love and joy to all who enter here. Well my friends we are going to have a yoga session here. We are going to meet with Cindy of Live Yoga and uh, this is uncut, unrehearsed and uh, uncensored and I'm going to place myself here just so that we are coming into the moment of presentation. Cindy, it's a pleasure to be here and uh, take part of your uh, your, your life at home. We are going to talk about how can you manage to do so many things. Is it because of yoga and would you like to elaborate on the particular subject? Well, sure. I'll do that for you and uh, let me it. Nice to have you here. May I just interrupt you and tell the listeners here that, <laughs> number one, this is again uncut, unrehearsed and unedited. Uh, I'm Johan Prost. I'm your host to from coast to coast, I used to say, and this is a candid video. Uh, what I think is interesting for the the viewer is to possibly see the fact that here we got the tea. And my cup is over there on the window shell, and here is another attribute to here we see that. What, what am I looking at right there? I'm a there? meditating frog. <laughs> the meditating frog. Keep the beautiful. Yeah. Well, you seem to be absolutely. You are a flight attendant. I am. And um, the hats I wear, yeah. you you have a a very very hectic life, and I can imagine that. Uh, Tell a little about your family, your story, how you managed to keep all these things in control. Well, several years ago, I uh, I found myself um, feeling very, very, feeling like I had a very chaotic life. Yes, I'm, I'm a flight attendant. I um, was also am also a fitness instructor. I have two small children and a husband, and I had a um, an aging mother who I was helping to take care of too. So I found I was uh, juggling a lot of balls, wearing a lot of hats. And I needed something in my life to to bring some balance to that. And four and a half years ago, when the studio opened up, I saw the opportunity. Was that two and a half years ago? Sorry, four and a half. Four, four and a half. half yeah. Okay. And um, the moment I walked through the doors, it, I could feel the the peace in the room. The the um, everything is so peaceful here. It is. Uh, the colors. Uh, you just mentioned the door here, and uh, you look around here and. Uh, your website, I think, is triple w dot live yoga white rock. What is it? Live yoga white rock. Yeah. Live yoga. Yeah, white well, live or live. Yeah, that's the that's it's open no, but What is the what is the website? It's live yoga dot com. Is that? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, so. So I walked through the doors, and my first class, it was it. Uh, the first thing they they the instructors do is encourage you to breathe deeply, which a lot of us don't. We're racing around life, we're panting, we're breathing very shallow. And just coming into my breath felt like coming home to myself. You, so you, you found something here. Uh, you discovered uh, you were not familiar with yoga from the very beginning. You have been, you are a fitness instructor, mm -hmm. uh, you are a flight attendant, you are a mother of, mm -hmm. was it three boys? <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's three. I, I say I have no. three kids, counting my husband. Oh, that's actually, wonderful! Yeah, <laughs> two children and and a husband. And um, two weeks after I started with the studio, my mom passed away. Right. So it was my sanctuary for grieving. But people come to yoga for with all different with all kinds of stuff, right? Whether it's stress and it's weighing you down heavily, or whether it's grieving, or whether it's just trying to find something deeper than so what this, they have in their lives. So this could possibly be something like in the Grand Central Station with a lot of baggage that you can people release. People come with a lot of baggage, absolutely. <laughs> and sometimes people are just coming to find some fitness and that's fine too. Just some mm -hmm. lengthening or getting rid of little aches and pains. I mean, they come with uh, physical, you know, physical needs. Psychological uh, uh, yeah. or spiritual needs. Stretching does some marvelous things. I mean, mm -hmm. we know, for instance, laughing would create endorphins, and mm -hmm. uh, stretching and 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 exerting yourself uh, in in some positions and whatever uh, on this rather flat floor and with a mat and little tea and so on in between. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. At the end, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's it's um, what what was the first that you 
decide that would be did you find did you discover a change or Absolutely. what really happened um yeah i just found that some of the yeah some of the aches and pains especially my back i mean it was it was a huge heal i felt it was a miracle that my my lower back pain within six weeks had gone and I've been living with lower back pain for a long time and because there's a lot of alignment. I mean we walk around not really paying attention to how we're holding our bodies, not even knowing necessarily how to hold our bodies. We call it alignment in yoga. And but um, let, 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 let me interrupt here now. Yeah, I sure. can't help uh, reflecting on the fact you're a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. um, you are on your feet for how many hours uh, well, flying into China? Flight, you can, yeah, you can be on your feet for you know ten to twelve hours. So the flight can be, you know, Australia is our longest, seventeen hours uh, without yeah. stopping anywhere. In between. You could, I mean, you know as well as I do, and that is obviously the stress on the back and hmm. uh, all the movements, and hmm. it's almost like it would be a fitness exercise. Not the to mention the lack of oxygen in the aircraft and exactly. the pressurization, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, it's very. Very uh, it's challenging on your body. It's a stressful environment. Yes. And, and I and think we can com conclude that yoga is something that will bring the balance. body and balance back mm -hmm. to what it's mm -hmm. so-called normal, if I can use that term. Mm -hmm. So, so that was a, a great relief for you. It is a great relief for me, yes. I, whether, and there's all, I mean, yoga is, is, if you will, the branch, or sorry, the trunk of the tree, and there's all different branches of yoga. Tell me um, a little about a couple of the branches. Uh, well, I, at, the, at the more uh, healing end or restorative end is, is restorative yoga, where you come when you have injuries or when you're recovering from perhaps an operation or even just feeling that you haven't moved your body to its full potential or any potential and just beginning opening your body. Um, right up to power yoga or ashtanga and anusara, which are very um, moving, strong yogas that, that um, you can come to, to to be fit. And yoga actually means union, mind, body, breath, or mind, body, spirit, if you will. Yoga means union. So you move mindfully through these postures, right. breathing, and opening joints and lengthening muscles. And you know that stress when you're, you, you, that really, I mean, it's not hard to, to bring that connection together when you're really stressed, you get really tight shoulders and you want a massage and your trapezes. Well, that yoga of lengthening opening opens and stretches and gives almost a self-massage in, in your mat and releases all that tension where you're holding it. When you release it, you can let go of the stress. It's like, Tension um, brings a lack of ease into your body, yes? Right. And a lack of ease translates to a, a, a dis-ease in your body. That's disease in your body. So you can prevent disease by getting rid of that lack of ease and bringing ease back so to your body. So it is a prevent... <laughs> can yes. I use the term? Preventative. A preventative. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you, 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 you are preventing things to happen. Uh, whatever yes. and 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 uh, obviously a relaxed mind and a relaxed body and you feel fit and this is how are you doing I mean <laughs> I can't I, I don't want to go to myself but if we just go are there any limitations uh, as any when 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 you mind. start your mind is your only limitation really. okay yeah. oh, that's good. I mean, yeah your thoughts what you focus on your thoughts become your words Right. Become your actions, become your habits, become your deeds, become your destiny. Your thoughts become your destiny. So make sure you choose the good ones. So you instruct in yoga, and what is your, should I say, what is your forte in yoga? Where, where, where do you feel most comfortable, and what, what, who are your students, and uh, clients, if I can use it that way. There's, you know, and in the studio we have a tremendous, um, tremendous talent, I, I'll say, for lack of a better word, uh, in our in our instructor pool. And um, there's everybody's highly trained. You take a minimum of 200 hours of yoga teacher training to be able to teach at a studio, and you're qualified with the Alliance Yoga Alliance worldwide. So it's it's quite extensive training um, that we take, and. We teach, I mean, I personally teach a gentle flow and a yoga fit, um, 
I'll teach a restorative. I, get, I mean, there's, again, all different branches. There's um, Anyasara here, which is uh, lots of alignment, lots of, of big moves, lots of little moves too. Cindy, can I propose that we are taking and uh, making this a second a second section? In oh. other words, can we make it in two sure. parts? Absolutely. Part one, part two? Yes. In that we'll finish and call this part one. Okay. To be followed by Namaste. part two. Thank you.